good morning or afternoon or evening. I don't know where you are when you're watching this, but hi, welcome to another weekly vlog. I am currently exporting last week's vlog for the third time because something always, always goes wrong. It's my favorite part about vlogging is the editing and uploading. I don't even mind the editing. It's, it's literally the exporting and just praying that something goes right. <laughs> So hopefully this time everything is all set, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's Tuesday currently. Not a lot happened yesterday. Um, really just hung out with Austin and the cats and trying to make sure that they were friends, but they are becoming friends. They're starting to play. He was really not about her. She didn't really care. She was at the rescue with so many other cats. So she was kind of used to other cats, but he hasn't been around cats for three weeks now so I think he just was like oh who is this uh no so <laughs> he's doing much better now they do both sleep with us every night which is so sweet um and they have been playing a lot together and I haven't seen him stop her so that's good <laughs> things are doing much better there I love them both so much they are so sweet um obviously Milo is like my baby angel like that's my baby but Lizzie um it's really growing on both of us. We both love her very much. I mean, obviously we loved her from the beginning, but like, you know, I, I didn't think there was going to be a time where I could love an animal as much as I love Milo. Um, and I think over time, I might love her as much as him, but he's always going to be my baby. So that's that. Um, this week, don't have a lot planned. Don't know what we're doing Friday or this weekend yet. Definitely still want to go out and do something. Um, Austin was like, you know, we've done a lot the last two weekends. What if we just had a chill weekend at the house? And I was like, we don't have the couch. What am I going to do? Lay in bed all day and watch TikTok? No, I want to get out and do something. But today I do have plans. Uh, one of the neighbors invited me over to watch The Bachelor with her. So I'm so excited because I have no friends here. <laughs> And I really want to make friends. So um, hopefully that is a lot of fun. And there's going to be snacks. And it's bring your own wine. So I do need to go pick up a bottle of wine. But other than that, I'm very excited for today and the week. But that's all I have this morning. So I'll see you later. I am out here trying to do laundry. And what do I find in my clean clothes? A um, Milo. Buddy, let go, let go. You are bad. You are bad. But I love you, oh my gosh. This is why my cat's bad, because we don't punish him. He's an angel. I just tell him he's beautiful, and that's that. And he, he's really trying to find a way back in. As you can see, I made very little progress, but the bed frame has delivered, so... I am so pleased with this. It is finally together. Um, the sheets are going to change. I am going to do white. I'm thinking white linen. Um, and then I'm gonna put like one of those picture ledges up top with some really cute art on it. Um, but Austin actually picked this bed out and I am so proud of him because we do not at all agree on furniture. It has been really hard to agree on anything and he found this. And I really like it because I wanted to do a bench on the end of the bed and he got one that had it built in. And if I can open it, not with the <laughs> comforter the way it is, but this is storage inside here as well. So that's very, very exciting. I wonder, it might be because of how big our mattress is, but oh, there we go. Our mattress is like a little too big for it, which is weird because it is a Zenus mattress and a Venus bed frame, but this is all storage, which I love. Um, I will, I'm going to link Zenus's website below because let me tell you, Austin was apprehensive <laughs> with our first mattress and he fell in love. It is hands down the most comfortable bed we have ever had. Um, I think our last one for a king was maybe $300. This one was a little more expensive, but worth it completely. Um, all of their mattresses though are amazing and so affordable and so much more comfortable than any expensive mattress that I have ever slept on. I used to be that person that loved, loved going to hotels because of hotel beds and hello, Miss Lady. <laughs> um, and now every time I sleep on a hotel bed, um, even on our, our wedding, like when we were in Jamaica, 
the bed, I was just like, I miss my bed because it is so, so comfortable. So 100% if you are looking for a mattress, this is the one, Zenus, any of their mattresses, A+, plus, Prime. Hi. Do you want to come cuddle? No, you're with your brother? Okay. <laughs> these bangs. These and these roots. They're making me so angry. <laughs> what can we do about it? We're growing them out. The roots. I just haven't found somebody in Tennessee yet. <laughs> so I, uh, that's on the agenda. But I do have a haul today that I'm pretty excited about. I got some really cute pieces, um, just a few, but they are very exciting. And then I also got some makeup, so I'm so excited. So I thought, jump on really quick while I'm waiting for some work to do. This thing, oh my gosh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Okay, I had to look at the camera, sorry. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if you are sitting there thinking, you know what might be a great idea? Bangs, don't do it unless you're ready for a lifelong commitment because one day you are going to wake up and say, I wanna grow these out and then you're gonna hate yourself just like I do. So this is the first thing I got. I was really in a loungy mood, I guess, when these came in, <laughs> but I got these really cute shorts. I'm a big girl, so they, they're pretty big. <laughs> but these really cute, just pink shorts, not too short. They're really nice material, very, very comfortable. These are from Shein Side. I don't remember how much they were. They're probably not available anymore. Um, but they're really cute. And I just wanted something nice to lounge around the house in that didn't make me feel like a slob. <laughs> and then I also got these. Now, these are a lot shorter. Also, they don't look as big as the other ones, so we'll see how these fit, but they're so cute. I wish that this had been a set. I'm a big fan of that like trend right now. Hi! Come here! Hi! Did you come to see Mama? No, you didn't. Came to sit in his window when my phone is in it. <laughs> um, but I'm a big fan of like sets and stuff that are matching that just make you feel like you're still comfortable and loungy, but like you match. Just feel a little more put together. So um, I was going for that, but they don't have a ton of plus size sets. So that's that. I got the shorts. Um, I got this cute little crop top, just white button up, um, a little bit of a frill at the bottom. I think that's called like a lettuce frill or something. I heard that somewhere. <laughs> I could be completely making that up. That sounds a little weird now that I'm saying it. Um, and this cute little collar. I love a collar. I actually got this to wear like around the house with, I thought it would be cute with those, but I, you could definitely dress that up and wear it out. And then being the fall queen that I am, I got this super, super cute little skirt. Um, that has this little slit. It has two little slits in it. Hard to see on the camera, but so, so cute. Love that. And then two pairs of shoes. It's actually the same pair, this thing. Oh, two pairs of shoes, <laughs> same shoe, but two different colors. Oh my gosh, is this not the 70s booty of my dreams? Oh my God, look at that. Love that. So I got it white and then I got it in this nice like camel color. I really like these as well. It's just beautiful and nice little like pointed, but not too pointed of a toe. So I really like those. That is all the clothes thing that I got. Get those out of the way. And let's talk about makeup. Because that's what we're, ah, what we're all here for always. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. I'm just talking to myself and to Lucy who watches my video. That's a lie. I just uploaded my video today. And um, there were 11 views, so I'm very thrilled. I'm missing one of the lipsticks, and it's the one I'm wearing now. And I thought I put it over here, but I'm not shim her. So, okay. Well, the one I'm wearing now is by Wet n Wild, and it's called Never Nude. It is such a pretty nude color, and it matches the ColourPop lip liner BFF perfectly. So I'm a big fan of that. And let's see. I actually bought four of the Wet n Wild lipsticks. I've never seen these $1.99 lipsticks in the store before. Oh, is this it? No. 
it was open so I thought it was but it was not it sorry I'm opening them real quick there we go um but this one's really pretty the formula it's I'm not gonna lie it's not the most comfortable formula that I've ever worn it is a little bit like waxy like obviously it's lipsticks it's it's made of wax but you know some are just some you put on and it's like and then some you put on and it's, it's waxy and that's what it is. Um, it's not the most uncomfortable and definitely over a lip liner, it's more comfortable. Um, and I've worn far less comfortable lipsticks. I'm really upset I can't find that lipstick, but whatever. Um, so I've worn far less comfortable lipsticks. It doesn't bother me, but if that's something that bothers you, don't spend the $2.99. Um, also the packaging is super cute. They definitely, isn't it Pat McGrath that has lipsticks that look like that? So cute. This one is bare at all. I am not going to swatch them because, oh, I don't know where I was going with that. I won't swatch them because last time I got lipstick all over the pant pocket of my favorite pants. They, it mostly came out. <laughs> so here's another one, another nude. I guess I'm not swatching, so it's, they're all going to look identical. Um, and then this one is skin knee dipping because it's skin colored I guess um this one definitely does not look as accurate here um it's definitely got a little bit of gray to it that one is really really pretty and then of course I had to get one I don't think this one's a matte I'll let you out buddy don't worry oh the door is open go oh that oh that's you oh hi Lizzie what you doing you want to join and then I got this one which is sangria time um looked a little more like a fun okay farther away <laughs> is a better representation of the color okay lesson learned I guess um that one's really fun so we'll do that sometime this fall and then I got a Maybelline lipstick I got this one because um Miss Allie Glines posted a video of trying like her subscribers favorite fall lipsticks and this was one and oh my god it's beautiful this is a spice for me it looks okay back here <laughs> like right here that's it's pretty accurate um it is definitely like an a very orangey like spicy red and it is so oh, also gosh i love the way that maybelline lipstick smell um that's all i've got today as far as the haul let me get a little i am uncomfortable Ugh, i'm too old to be sitting on the floor but um look at these brows today oh my gosh i'm so thrilled i tried out the soap brow trend you know like five years too late but i am living for these fluffy brows so it was a good time to film because i love my brows right now oh i'm just i'm thrilled i love soap brows i can't believe i waited so long to try it it is what it is though i guess yeah okay that's all i have to say i'm gonna go Cuddle my cat now. Okay, bye. <laughs> Your father's going to be angry if he sees you up there. Especially when he finds out you used your little claws to climb it. Ma'am. Ma'am. What is it? Oh, yeah. Ma'am. What? Tell me about it. You doing enough? You guys, I finally got the clothes off the floor. Three vlogs in. <laughs> it's only been my project for three whole weeks. Um, still have some miscellaneous things on the floor. These are socks that need matched. There's some like washcloths. Um, Austin's little clothes section. There's definitely a lot more to hang. I've got to pull it out of the garage. Um, I have to buy more hangers. Don't know how I fit my clothes on hangers in the last house because there, uh, I ran out and then there's my clothes. Everything is hung. Um, there's some stuff on my side, swimsuits and things that I wear considerably less. These are advertised as sleep jackets at Walmart. They're amazing stuff that just got thrown in purses like that Starburst beverage thing, um, packing cubes. I was pretty frustrated this week because I couldn't find my short sleeve turtlenecks, which are my favorite shirts in the world. I could only find the white one I'm wearing now. Um, I found all of them but one, which of course is my favorite, and it went to Jamaica, so all my Jamaica clothes are here except for that one, so I'm really hoping it didn't stay in Jamaica, but another project down. I'm very proud of myself right now. Also, the cats won't stop terrorizing my carpet, so they got a little scratcher. 
for three dollars today and what have you done not scratch it but just lick the catnip out of it do you feel guilty sir milo milo do you feel guilty yeah i know handsome but you are so pretty boy he said i know i know mom thank you okay so i just got this really cute utensil set on amazon um i made austin's favorite meal which is beef stroganoff um it's his mom's recipe it's really good um it's not made with ground beef i don't like it that way that's gross um she makes it with either like a pot roast that's really fatty or with short ribs short ribs is definitely better but they're kind of harder to come by <laughs> but i hate cooking that kind of meat without tongs to flip it and i got real sick because it was the second time making it, making it without a set of tongs. So I went ahead and placed an order on this really cute set. It's looking a little gray, gray, green. It's looking a little gray on camera, but it's like a really pretty neutral color. I think it was advertised as khaki and I love it. The bottom is wood and the top, I don't need that one in there. I'm never going to use that. Um, but then the top is like silicone, which is my favorite to cook with because it doesn't scratch pans and it's really easy to clean. So I am really a big fan of this set. I'm super excited. It was, I think, $23. Um, the price definitely varies a lot. It's on Amazon, but I will link it below in case you're in the market. So I finally have more than my wooden utensils. So I'm very, very excited about that. Ma'am, can I help you? It's a little better than it's been, but look at these. So these are my favorite flowers in the whole world, but I've never actually had them. My friends, Crystal, Nicole, and I, and Austin as well, went to the farmer's market today, and they had a booth that had these for $10, and you could pick which ones you wanted. I got a sunflower. I got two sunflowers. This one's really pretty. And then these beautiful babies. Oh my gosh. My favorite one is this one. He's so pretty. Oh. Look, and there's another, oh, this one, I lied. This one's my favorite. I requested this one. Other than that, I just said like a couple pink, a couple yellow, but this one, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then I also, no idea what I did with it. Here it is. Our little Swiffer today for the floors. And I got myself this really cute, okay, this is not working for me. Hold on. Not sure how the beauty gurus do it. There's some one-handed stuff. I got this really cute little Christmas ornament in the shape of Tennessee that says home. How cute. All right, so I'm a big fan of grocery hauls. So I just got back from the grocery store. I figured I'd show you guys what I got. Um, <laughs> if you can notice, half of it is literally beverages. <laughs> so um, we had a few meals left over from last week as well as um, some pantry staples. So I really didn't need a lot in the food department, um, but I still spent a lot of money. <laughs> so the first thing you'll see here is um, sparkling water. I did Pellegrino as well as a Tobo Chico because I've heard it's really good for what we're using it for. Um, Austin loves soda, but he is of course trying to kick that habit. So he really, his favorite sodas are um, this Mountain Dew that's blue raspberry flavored. It's a Walmart exclusive um, and then Dr. Pepper. So I picked him up these. He really likes the blue raspberry. Um, picked him up a couple blue raspberry, uh, black cherry. I like this because I'm an orange Fanta girl and the lemonade just to put in water. So um, got those. Um, Austin loves chocolate milk. I also like chocolate milk after working out. We've been doing a half gallon, but we're both really enjoying it. So I picked that up. Austin likes French vanilla creamer and his coffee and he was out. Um, this sweet tea is so good. It is the moonshine sweet tea. I had this in Texas, uh, Waco. Whose claws? Okay. thought they were 
scratching my furniture, my walls, whatever. Okay, <laughs> but this is so good. Um, it's from, I don't know where it's from, but we had it in Waco at Magnolia Silos and it was so good. I picked up a lemonade just because it looks good. And then this is a sparkling kefir probiotic water lemon lime drink. Sounded good, so I picked it up. They were out of the chai tea concentrate that I usually get, so I got the Oregon chai. Um, and then I'm gonna make the mayonnaise Parmesan chicken, which sounds disgusting, but it's so good. We do it real quick because it's our preference. So you do have chicken back there. We're also doing steaks, this carving board turkey. I'm so sorry, you're looking at my litter box. <laughs> this carving board turkey is my favorite in salads. Um, which is what we're doing for lunch. So we have some spinach and just an American blend. That's Austin's favorite. My favorite is butter lettuce. They were out. <laughs> We've got thyme for the steaks, Kerrygold butter, the spreadable kind, and the stick butter. Um, I would like to go dairy-free. However, I'm addicted to this butter, and nothing will ever beat it. So I don't know that it'll, it'll ever be fully dairy-free. Um, I got this balsamic glaze. I like this for bruschetta, and I do have some farmer's market um, heirloom tomatoes that are amazing. So I got it for that, as well as they had burrata on sale. Usually $10, they had it for six. So I got that to go with my balsamic glaze and my heirloom tomatoes. Feta cheese for salads, Montreal steak seasoning for steak. I got raspberries because they were out of strawberries. And then I just got like a pre-cut up fruit thing for $5. It has watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew, which are my favorites. I got some garlic for steak. And then I got this pack. This was like $8, so a little excessive, um, but it's just like a flaky salt set. Um, I really wanted that for the tomatoes. Um, so I went ahead and picked this up. up. And that is the groceries for the week. Sorry, you had to look at my litter box while I was talking about steak and turkey. Okay, bye. Hello, and welcome to the end of this week's vlog. I feel like I don't have a ton of footage. I guess we'll see when I edit this later, but um, I feel like we haven't been doing as much as we have been doing this week um, lately, but at the same time, uh, we did. I just, we were hanging out with um, one of our neighbors a few times and I wasn't like very well gonna pull my phone out and be like, uh, let me just film you and then put you on YouTube. So <laughs> after we went to the farmer's market yesterday, um, we ran a couple errands, came home, cleaned, organized some things that needed to be done for weeks now. And then we went and had dinner at our neighbor's house, uh, which was so much fun. We were there till probably midnight, which was so past my bedtime, but we were just, just talking for hours and it just felt so nice um to have a friend here because i've been so lonely um and then her husband is going out of town for work for a week so pretty much all week work cook dinner go over to her house and hang out with her and her adorable baby which just makes me want a baby more but we're not trying until june can't wait i'm so excited i i really can't wait to have kids i'm so ready uh, but that's all I have for today. Um, trying to think, is there anything else I feel like saying? No, no. So like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more of these vlogs, um, they're going to keep coming whether you like, comment, and subscribe or not. So <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and do it for me, myself, and I because it's a lot of fun. Um, hopefully this vlog goes up a lot earlier than last week's. I had a lot of trouble exporting last week's vlog. I was very frustrated, so hopefully this week is better. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming and viewing my video if you did, and if you made it this far, you a real one. That's my, that's my kind of people, thank you. <laughs> but you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week.